Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to today's English lesson. And we are carrying on with our study of the Mr. Men that's missed stories. And we are right in the middle at the moment of writing our own stories, aren't we? I've been using Little Miss Tidy this week as, um, as a book to focus on. And today what we're going to do is focus on writing our problem and resolution side of the uh, side of your stories. Some people yesterday had put some incredible detail into their um, beginning and the build up. OK, and remember, that it's like that story mounting. And what is happening now is we are building up what is happening in the stories. And now we're going to launch our problem. This is the main thing in the story that needs fixing. And this is probably the area of the story that's going to need the most detail, the most depth, because this is what the story is about. OK, so I'm going to read you the one from Little Miss Tidy and then we're just going to I'm just going to give you a few tips as for your writing for today. OK, so um, in the story here, she starts uh, encountering more of the other characters in the story. As we looked at last week on Monday at nine o'clock, she telephoned Mr. Clever. As you are so clever, she said. Could you tell me where I put my hairbrush when I tidied up? Remember, little Miss Tidy, she put things away and then can't always remember them. On Tuesday at 10 o'clock, she telephoned Mr. Mean. As you like money so much, she said, could you tell me where I put my purse when I tidied up? On Wednesday at 11 o'clock, she telephoned Mr. Strong. As you like eggs so much, she said, could you tell me where I put my boiled egg when I tidied up? On Thursday at 12 o'clock, she telephoned Mr. Nosy. As you are always poking your nose into things, she said, could you tell me where I put my serving spoon when I tidied up? On Friday, she didn't telephone anybody because she had tidied away her telephone and she had to run all the way to Little Miss Chatterbox's house. As you love using the telephone, she said, could you tell me where I put my telephone when I tidied up? Luckily, thanks to her friends, Little Miss Tidy was able to find all the things she had lost that week. Her hairbrush, hairbrush was in a glove box, her purse was in a shoe box, her boiled egg was in a salt pot, her serving spoon was in a toolbox, and her telephone was in the sewing box. Now, that there is sort of like, it's not a problem, sort of like a big problem in these sorting, but you've got, it's spiralling a little bit out of control as another way of looking at it, as to sort of the, how she's so tied, tidy and... You know, her world is sort of falling around, uh, falling apart around her because she's tidying so much. She doesn't know where everything is. Um, so what's going to happen now is, right, OK, so that's she's found the things. But is there any way we can solve that problem for the future? Little Miss Tidy certainly was very absent minded when it came to remembering where she had put things when she was tidying up. But she couldn't help it. On Saturday, it was her birthday and little Miss Chatterbox came to her house, carrying a splendid looking parcel, all tied up with a red ribbon. Little Miss Tidy couldn't wait to see what was inside the present. It was a notebook and pencil. The perfect present for somebody who lost things as easily as little Miss Tidy. OK, so there what we've got is um, we've got the the resolution almost to the, the problem. How is the problem sorted? Well, the other Mr. Men and Little Miss characters have got her a notepad to make notes on. OK, so that's some sort of resolution to the story there. But it goes on because it's not all the odds end are tidied up. And you might have noticed in the story, it started on Monday. It's gone through the five days of the week. And now we haven't talked about Saturday and Sunday. Little Miss Tidy was as happy as, well, as happy as Mr. Happy. She spent the rest of the day opening all her boxes and writing down in her notebook everything that she had stored away in them. It was very late by the time she had finished her list. She went to bed very tired. On Sunday morning, she woke with a start. My notebook and pencil, she cried. Wherever did I put them when I tidied up? Okay, so this is getting towards the end of the story now. There's only a couple of pages. I'm going to read you those tomorrow. But even though there has been a resolution, like we talked about last week, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything's going to be sorted. And when we looked at that story planner at the start of the week on Monday, at the end, is it going to be living happily ever after? Are you already getting a hint with how this Little Miss Tidy story is going to finish? 
okay? She was losing all of her objects, all of her things. So for her birthday, the Mr. Men, the Little Miss characters bought her a notebook and pencil. Ah, that's problem solved. She's woken up one day and can't remember where she's put them. So although the problem has been resolved, is it going to be the end of all of her problems? Okay, do we find that out at the end, which we'll talk about tomorrow? Okay, so your task for today, year four, is to write your problem. Okay, but remember, these are Mr. Men, Little Miss stories. Just be a little bit wacky with them. You know, let these problems kind of spiral out of control a bit. You know, don't don't say, oh, you know, um, Mr. Mr. Forgetful was always forgetting to cross the uh, to look where he was looking when he cr uh, crossed the road. Oh, so he, he caused a, um, a traffic jam. The end. That's, you know, we need to go into a bit more detail than that. Okay, so in the Little Miss Tidy problem, it developed on uh, Monday she did this, Tuesday she did this, on Wednesday she did this, on Thursday. So it was layering up and you can see this problem building, building, building. In that story mountain, there's a reason why a problem is at the top, because that's where the biggest issue is in the story. So it should have the most detail. Okay, so perhaps you want to use that as a guide and say, you know, over the week, Monday to Friday, this issue was building up. Look back at the notes that you made on Monday and the ideas you had last week here for and see what you can pick on to help you write your problem. Okay, you've got all these ideas now. Let's get a problem written, shall we? Uh, tomorrow, we're going to finish writing our story. I'm going to show you some editing skills to go over what you've done. You may have, well, hopefully you noticed when I was reading to you that there were uh, that there was some direct speech in there okay so you can see there as you are so clever she said and you can see that it's punctuated there with the inverted commas and the um reporting clauses i'm going to take a picture of these following five pages where she's having a conversation with the mr man and put them onto the website so you can see some examples of how they're using the stories if you can get some of those into your own writing That'd be absolutely fantastic, okay? Because that's our grammar focus for these last couple of weeks is punctuating speech. Okay, year four, I can't wait to see what you come up with and um, your, your writing once you've posted it on the portfolio is too. Great work, everyone. See you later.